Hello and welcome back to my let's play of the next big thing. When last we left off, we had discovered that Liz had been kidnapped in a sarcophagus. And apparently the place where we need to go, they scan your brain and stuff to make sure you're not, uh, you know, up to no good and stuff. So we're going to need to find a way into the temple and a way to avoid being brain scanned or something before we go in. It sounds very odd, doesn't it? Without further ado, let's get, let's get started now. Either we drive there, but I didn't see a drive option for the um, the place mentioned, you know, the temple. So I'm figuring we need to go maybe to the pier, maybe get a boat there or something. I don't know, guys. At last, they opened it. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, it seems we're getting on the boat. Scientifically impossible. I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> reprehensible. But what about poetry? Dan Murray. <laughs> Guilty as charged. And you have pint. <laughs> what a guy. Professor Fly at your s -s -s service. Good. And that idiot outside, what's with him? The poet? Oh, he wants me to build him a custom made teletransporter booth. Tell a what? Oh, a neophyte. Let me show you. So the that hardy volunteer gets into one of them. <laughs> yes. And instantly appears in the other. <laughs> Does the duck get frequent flyer miles? Interesting. Interest. Dan understood the great potential in that magnificent invention for furthering his plans. And he made it known to Professor Fly. Not bad. Have you got a volunteer half pint? Apart from the rubber ducky? Oh, I wish. The poet wanted to, but I won't even discuss it. Well, now you have one. Let's get on with it. Oh, that would be morally reprehensible. The teletransporter is still in the Zeta stage. It's randomly lethal. Lethally random is especially for the liver. It is for that reason that I only accept volunteers that meet three requirements. One, said Fly, they have to be completely expendable to society. Two, their life expectancy must be less than one year, two months, nine days, and 37 minutes. Three, they must pass my psychological test for the purpose of accrediting psychic devastation to the utmost degree. Mm hmm. Uh, this is very bizarre, guys. I just wanted to hitch a ride to the temple, but uh, it seems like we need to help this guy out to get a lift. And uh, I'm not sure I want to be experimented on, really, but um, I guess we go along with it. Uh, what should we do first, guys? Looks like we've got three requirements for this um, uh, mission segment, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to hmm, do the psychology tests, maybe? Let's get to the psychic devastation test. Psychic what devastation do you want to bet test? I beat the record? Let's get to work. They're just four little ink blots. What do you see there? Well, I see the sun. Um, that's not there. Let's get a, a flower. A pretty guess. little flower. This is not psychic devastation or anything like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try again when you're really dizzy. Okay, so I have to act like I'm psychically devastated. But, um, oh, I failed, it seems. Yeah. Hmm. What should we ask next? 
Well, what, what interested me about that character in the poet was they seemed a lot like, um, you ever seen The Princess Bride? And uh, the giant and the little man, he speaks a lot like little, little um, intelligent dude. And the other guy speaks a lot like Andre the Giant. So that, I think that's a little nod to that movie. There's a lot of movie references in this game, a lot of Easter eggs and stuff, I like that. And uh, this seems to be, you know, a little nod to the fly and things like that, so... It's funny in this game, you, you've got to watch out for little pop culture references. Um, do feel free to leave any in the comments if I miss any of those, because I, I really like those in games. So there's some nice little ho homages, you know, homages to, to to movies and stuff, I like that. Anyway, let's get back. What should we ask about? I want to ask about the poet, because I want to talk to What do you have to say to about him. the poet? Oh, lots to ask. What should I ask about him? Uh... Is he stupid or just pretending to be? Well, the poet of pain is peculiar. Peculiar? Peculiar. Yes, peculiar. Peculiar in what way? In a peculiar way. <laughs> I get it. Very peculiar? Between somewhat and very peculiar. So it's really, really, really peculiar. Um, That's his name? Poet? The Poet of Pain. He's already published three volumes of poetry, all with the same theme. Unfortunately, he's beginning to repeat himself. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the theme is. Can we find out? Why does he want to be your volunteer? My teletransporter booths are in the Zeta stage. They're very dangerous for the volunteer, and the poet sees an enticingly new form of pain in it, and... Hmm... Enticingly new. Hmm. Poets. Enough nonsense. Back up to the ceiling, Half Pint. <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> what a guy. So is there anything around here we can half inch? None of this interests me. Oh. Pick, pick a jock to look around a science lab. Strange. Strange. <laughs> Almost as orderly as my desk at the quill. <laughs> so he really doesn't know what he's looking at. Obviously. Very funny. When the test's over, I'll smash it. <laughs> oh, dear. No, for the test, I'll call Half Pint, and that's it. That's pretty much pointless. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're wasting our time here. I guess we go back, and maybe maybe we could talk to the emo poet. Listen up. I'm going to be the volunteer for... What? You're burning your own hand? <laughs> pain. Pain inspires me. A new verse. A fresh new verse. An infernal sun scorches my skin. Implacable, two-faced, cruel. Want me to break your face? It's no trouble. <laughs> no, very trite. It doesn't inspire me. New pains for new verses. Give me novelty. Good, you stay right here. You're going to go nuts over this. So I'm supposed to give him a new kind of pain somehow, but I don't, I don't think I have anything in my inventory to give him any. Oh, well, can I use salt and lemon? I've got something that might inspire you. <laughs> novelty, novelty, give me novelty. Lemon and salt. So, a new verse? Uh, uh, I'm inspired. 
It's coming to me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, share it. Like a ravenous zombie, my right eye devours my brain. What a verse, my friend. What a verse. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. <laughs> this is a very sadistic part of the plot. But we haven't... We got a new verse. Is there anything else? Can I hit him with a baseball bat? I've got something that might inspire you. Yes. <laughs> novelty, novelty, give me novelty. A bat, I'm going to break your face and... <laughs> I never repeat myself, I never repeat myself, I never repeat, 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 I repeat. You don't say, you've already had your face bashed in with a bat. Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. Shoot. <laughs> we can't hit him in the face with a baseball bat. <laughs> Oh, is there anything I can gather? I wonder. What's the black ball? No ferry service today. That's the one that goes to the studios. It's too heavy to pick up. Hmm. So can we use the claw on the dude? I've got something that might inspire you. <laughs> Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. A razor. You grab it and you slice here, there, freeform, wherever you want to. I never repeat myself, I never oh, repeat myself, I that. never repeat, 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 I repeat. You're not saying you've already cut yourself with a razor here and there, freeform, wherever you feel like it? Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. Shoot. Hmm. Oh, He's going to go nuts over this. Oh no, hold your ears, guys. That wasn't too bad, actually. So, a new verse? Uh, uh, I'm inspired. It's coming to me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, share it. My ear, by a thousand bees, mortally wounded, bursts joyfully. What a verse, my friend. What a verse. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. So it seems like we need to do something more, I feel. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we're out of time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, my let's play of the next big thing. When uh, next we return, we'll be finding out how we get more out of this fella and why we're getting stuff out of this fella. No idea what we're doing or why at the moment, I'm afraid. But this is one wacky game, what can I tell you? So thanks for joining me once again, guys. Please rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.